hands and has been sent to Napford Harbor to do some hunting. As he surveyed the sightings, he noticed a small crane sitting in between some trucks. Hello there, said Oliver. What's a crane like you doing sitting here amongst these trucks? Shouldn't you be on your own side in case of emergencies? They don't want me anymore, said the crane. They're going to take me away and cut me up tomorrow. No matter how hard I try, I can never convince them that I'm still useful. Who's this they you keep joking about? Before the crane could answer, Aerie, one of the Sodor Ironworks engines, buffered up to a line of trucks next to Oliver, filled with scrap. Oh, he should have known. You better not be touching my scrap, Oliver. This is property of Sodor Ironworks, so don't even think about taking it. Not even the crane. Especially that crane. He's going to be cut up tomorrow, and there's nothing you can do about it. Understand? Now shove off. If I see you around these trucks again, I'll get Hattie to sell you to us. <laughs> see? It's no use. Don't worry, I'll get you out of here. Somehow. Did you bring the crane? Ugh, I told you. It's coming tomorrow. Why are you even so interested in it anyways? It's just a crane. That is for me to know, and you to not worry about. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oliver had been brought down to the harbor to unload stone trucks that Percy brought down from the quarry and shunt them into place for the up train. As Percy backed down on his train, he noticed that Oliver was getting too close to the buffers on the pier. Peep, 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 stop, Oliver, stop! Oliver stopped just in time. Ew, that could have been nasty. Indeed, said the foreman. We don't have the right type of crane to get the trucks out. They would just sit there until the crane with a hook could be spared to fish them out. And by then, all the stone would have sunk to the bottom of the ocean, never to be seen again. You're usually much more attentive when shunting, Oliver. Is something wrong? I've just been thinking of ways to help that crane over there. Have you asked her top him hat? He'd surely help. Huh, I don't even plan to talk to him with all this work in the horror Well, I'm sure you'll come up with something, Oliver. Oliver knew what it was like to be on the scrapping block, and decided to save the crane. Oliver came back to the harbor that night, determined to take the crane with him. Little did he know that Aerie had come early to take the crane under orders from his mysterious employer. Have you come to take me away now? asked the crane. No, of course not, said Oliver. I'm going to help you escape. I'm taking you to Arlesburg. Dirk will help hide you. Now come... Oh no! What's he doing here? He said he was coming tomorrow. Oi, Oliver, is that you? You better not be taking that crane or else it won't be the only thing I take to the scrapyard tonight. Just leave me here. I don't want you to be scrapped as well. Well, we have had worse encounters when Roy was escaping the scrap. Now, come on. Let's get out of here. Oi, you! Ernie tried to stop them on the points of the pier, but wasn't fast enough. We did it! It's a clear home run now. Suddenly, there was a loud splash and cries for help. Aaron had fallen off the pier and into the water. The workmen still on duty came to see what had happened. That green tea kettle pushed me in the water. No, I didn't. You got yourself stuck after trying to derail me. Because you were stealing my scrap. No, I didn't. I was saving it from you. Silence! The dock manager had came to see what was the matter. 
Oliver, I do not know what you are playing at, stealing that crane and whatnot, as it is property of the Sodor Ironworks. I shall tell Sir Talbot Hatt all about this. He will deal with you when he gets here. I'm sorry I've caused you this trouble, Oliver. I just wanted to be useful again. Well, I think you still can. When Sir Topham Hatt arrived, he saw Aerie being fished out of the water by Oliver and the crane. The workmen explained everything. Well, Oliver, I don't condone your actions, but you have brought up something very important that I've been meaning to deal with. This harbor does not have any cranes, which is an issue when things fall into the water on accident. I think it would benefit this harbor greatly if I purchased that crane. You, you mean it, sir? I very much do. Hurrah! You've been saved by the Northwestern Railway. The crane now works at Knapford Harbor full time. It loves the bustling nature of the harbor, as it allows it to work hard and stretch its arm. Oliver visits sometimes, and told it stories about his life on the Little Western. She wants to visit someday, but for now is content with her life in Matford Harbor.